Now, once again, you join me in Burnham on Sea, and I'm at a caravan site this time called Lakeside Holiday Park. Now, Lakeside is literally situated about 10 minutes down the road from when I've done my previous V blog for Caravan Carp in Part 1. Due to us not being able to get the caravan or the dates we wanted on that site, we decided to come down and have a uh, holiday on Lakeside uh, with a splash of fishing involved for me. Now Lakeside holds quite a few memories for me because this is where I discovered carp fishing. 36 years ago I come down here uh, with my dad on a family holiday uh, knowing that there was a lake on site. I bought my rod, a few floats and a uh, tub of maggots and I come down to this swim behind me on the first day and there's a couple of guys from here from down south that was fishing in a different style to, that I've never seen before. They had uh, two buzzers two rods and these bobbins that went up and down on these metal bars. Yes, that was modern day carp fishing. As a young lad, always willing to learn and um, willing to find out what other people are fishing and doing. Uh, I befriended them and I set up next to them for the week. Bless them, they got me going. They give me a running rig, give me a couple of hair rigs and uh, some boilies as well. I think that was rich worth at the time. I'm not too sure, but I'm sure there was uh, from a, a memory of seeing the bag. Uh, yes, yeah, so I fished here for a week. Unfortunately, I didn't catch anything. Uh, so it'd be nice to uh, end that 36 year blank and finally get a fish out of here. I'm hoping that I will by the end of the week. Now, due to social media and uh, ev Carp fishing is a small place now. I've managed to track down the bailiff that uh, runs this Ashley. I uh, got talking to him and he said it is a tricky water, but the rewards are here to ha be had. So uh, I'm hoping that you know I can pick up something by the end of the week and uh, catch a couple of fish out of here. Uh, we're down for seven days, so we've got a little bit more extra time this time. Uh, so uh, fingers crossed all will be good uh, as I said this is a family holiday and I will be picking the camera up as and when I come down here and do a little bit of carp fishing probably doing a couple of hours in the morning a couple of hours on the evening uh, from talking to Ashley as well he has put me on a few spots and I'm going to be fishing them for the week if and when I can get on the lake so I hope we have a great week and I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button in one of these corners. And just underneath there, you'll see a bell icon. Hit that and then that will notify you as and when I upload these type of videos. So, first morning, the rods are in. I've already had a stinking bream. I'm um, hoping I'm not going to have too many of them for the coming week. But uh, yeah, it was lovely to get the rods out first thing this morning. I had a smile on my face while I was putting them out because uh, all them memories, all them years ago, come flooding back. So, let's enjoy the morning and uh, let's enjoy the week. Terra. First rod has just gone off this weeding willow. Probably about half a rod length off it, if that. And. Um, went down with a nice firm um, drop so I was, I'm quite pleased with that area the other area took me a while to get it in there but um, just inside these trees there's like a little V um, I, to be fair I did cast over the, uh, the tree on the first cast which I wasn't too pleased about but uh, I got it eventually and it went in there and it's probably about six inches off the bank and the other spot is just off the corner over here. Put a bit of bait in there yesterday because uh, I seen a fish roll when I was having a walk around. So that was a place that I, um, I'm going to be targeting for the week and uh, just keep trickling in that bait on that spot. Uh, the others I'm just uh, throwing stick boilies in there, but that one I'm uh, putting some 12 mil. Uh, ASM in a spot and I'm just going to uh, keep spotting out on that area when I see that fish. Again went down with a nice uh, firm landing 
on the bottom and uh, it's not as deep as down to the right hand side but you know you've probably about I would say about four foot just off the margin over there so I'm going to chill out for the morning and uh, see if anything comes probably until about 12 o'clock then I'll reel in and I'll go and have a uh, breakfast and so to eat and I might try and get back on this evening after we've uh, been out and uh, done our things with the holiday so I'll catch you a little bit later ta -da. So you join me back at 11 o'clock and that time down here has gone way too fast. Then rods need to be reeled in because I need to get off to the caravan, cook myself some breakfast before I head over to Burnham to pick up some essentials for the caravan. The only fish to grace my nets this morning is them bream and I'm hoping this week I'm not going to be plagued too much by them and uh, we will have a carp grace the nets before the end of this week. The spots where I've been fishing today, which is the Weeping Willow, and this tree margin here, and over onto that staging over there. I'm gonna keep trickling that in that bait and hopefully we can tempt these fish to come in and have a feed on the areas. It's looking like we're going to have a little bit of a weather change. We've got uh, rain coming in. So uh, this afternoon I'm expecting it to uh, be raining when I drop back on the spots for a few hours later on. So I'll see you shortly and uh, I'll be back in a couple of hours fishing. Ta-da! Well, good afternoon. You join me at half past five. The rods have just gone out onto the same spots that I was fishing this morning. However, I have had a little bit of a rig change and uh, a bait presentation uh, regards to colour change. Now I've gone white pop-ups on each rod. Two rods, the one over towards the uh, boards has gone out on a white Ronnie rig. A little key bait solutions, bright white pop-up and the right one over on to the Weeping Willow again same sort of rig with a wide pop up again the one onto the uh, tree margin right in front of the swim has just gone out on a snowman rig with a white 10mm topper and uh, a bag with a couple of 12mm ASM boilies in uh, the baits have had a spread of um, bait around them not too much probably about 10 baits spread around the area where I've cast to and that's where I'm going to leave them now for uh, a couple of hours till I have to pack up now I had a little bit of a dilemma earlier my uh, corner catapult decided to break on me and uh, thank God for um, Facebook marketplace just typed in that I wanted a um, throwing stick and one come up five pounds just down the road in Burnham on sea so I went and picked it up and now I'm using that to uh, put a spread of bait out I have got my uh, spod rod as you can see behind me but I don't want a concentration of bait just in one area I want to be able to flick them baits out get them fish moving about and uh, get them fish to trip up when they're moving about in between baits so that's where we are now for the uh, next couple of hours and uh, fingers crossed something will turn up. So I'll see you in a bit later and uh, let's kick back for the afternoon, have me a brew and I'll speak to you shortly. ta -da.
I could no, give you a chance to sort of picture, picture and put him back. He's done in a minute. <laughs> there you go. Right. If you knock that over here, I'll see whether I can get your boiler out for you. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is that then? That's a car. Oh, that's part of it. Oh, it's his bait fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Oh, yes, I'll take the picture. Right, well, that's the first fish of the uh, first day. It took me 37 years to catch this. As I said, uh, come all them years ago, never caught a fish out of here. And uh, I'm back having a go, and uh, this is the first. Not the biggest, but very welcome indeed from a hard day. Lovely. Send her on away and uh, get down to the clubhouse and have a couple of drinks to celebrate. Please go. That is fantastic. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. <laughs> That's just amazing. It's fantastic. Well, good morning, Tuesday morning, seven o'clock, and I'm back out at them. Lovely to pick up that fish last night. Uh, about half past seven, that uh, rod that was over towards Weeping Willa, I knew it was a, a carp straight away as soon as I got the tape. Steamed off, hit into it, it did try and uh, steam towards them stags on, on the opposite uh, margin down to the right hand side. Uh, but I managed to guide it away and walk back up the bank and uh, she was mine. Was a little bit embarrassed to be fair with that fish because I had a crowd of about 15 people, believe it or not, behind the back of the camera. People wanted to take photos of it. Never had that situation before so uh, me picking up the fish and talking to the camera was a little bit embarrassed but I got it done and uh, made myself look absolutely stupid talking to the camera but fish bagged and uh, sent on its way so uh, first fish out of the way and I'm really really pleased that came to a uh, Ronnie rig on a uh, white all season mix uh, the bright ones pop ups and uh, I put two rods over there this morning One's gone to the left of the weeping willow, and the other one's gone to the right, basically in the gap that you'll see on the opposite bank. Left hand rod has gone over onto uh, the tree margin, uh, over, over on the opposite bank, and the original spot that I uh, that I fished with that, them boards, I'm just going to keep trickling in a bit of bait, drop on that in a uh, couple of days. Now I'll come down to the bin last night which is just behind the back of the pool, uh, put me uh, rubbish in and just stood on this uh, swim and all I heard was bosh 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 all the way uh, round the lake to be fair. This place without a shadow of a doubt is definitely a night time water. Makes sense, half past seven it's just starting to go, go dark and uh, the light levels was dropping then we start well, I've got that fish and uh, obviously into the uh, dark then we're gonna get a lot of activity so bear that in mind if you're coming down I would uh, start fishing from five o'clock into darkness and you'll probably be in with a better chance of catching a fish but I'm here this morning I am on limited time you know I'm not gonna uh, catch fish uh, sitting in the uh, caravan I'm also as well just come out enjoy myself have a brew and uh, enjoy the surroundings uh, with these rods out now we've got the grand shawl down today I'm not too sure whether I'm going to be back down this afternoon because obviously we're going to be spending a bit of time with him and uh, hopefully I would like to get down because I would like to catch a car but shall we um, so um, 
never seen one before, it would be nice for me to uh, show him a carp and uh, start him on his way because I am going to be showing him how to carp fish. I'm looking forward to that to be fair. Right, kick back for this morning. I'm here till about half past ten, so uh, we've got a couple of hours left yet. And uh, let's hope we have a few tight lines. So. Well, fish number two, second day. And it was definitely a good choice moving on to them white popples because these fish seem to be responding to that colour pretty well. Nice clean common. Get the heartbeat racing this morning. Took off pretty well. And uh, tried to do me in them snags on the opposite margin over towards them trees, but uh, walked back up the uh, bank and uh, steered her away. Nice clean fish and uh, fantastic for your uh, holidays, isn't it? That nice just to get out for a couple of hours. Well worth it. Right, let's slip her back, put that rod back on the spot. We've probably got a couple of hours left yet. Great for an early bite. It's just lovely sending them on the way. Well, you join me back at half past ten. I've probably got another half an hour before I need to reel these rods in and get back off to the caravan. Great to pick off another fish this morning and uh, put another fish on the map for the video blog. I am going to try and get back for bite time this afternoon. As I said, I've, I've been talking to Ashley the bailiff and he's informed me anything from five onwards is the uh, bite time down here. As I said, I stopped here yesterday from five till half past seven, picked up that fish and uh, it really does seem to be the golden time down here. Yes, I've had that fish this morning, but is that gonna be a regular occurrence or was that just a one-off? We will see as we go through throughout the week. As I said, I'm gonna keep uh, applying bait over the areas and uh, get them fish confident in feeding in and around where I'm baiting up. So, I will uh, see you a little bit later. As I said, we've got the grandkid coming down, so we're going to spend some time with him. And uh, if I do get a chance to put the camera up, I will. So these rods are coming in very shortly, and I'll speak to you later on. Bye-bye. Oh boy, mate! <laughs> Ready, <laughs> bye, Granddad. Bye, bye. Bye. <laughs> well, you join me late afternoon on the Tuesday. It's absolutely awful weather. I am soaked, all my gear soaked. However, I've got a window of opportunity to come out, and I was never going to turn down that. Even more so that I've got these fish on the run and I've already bagged two carp in two days. Fantastic. Hopefully we'll make it a third this afternoon. Now I've uh, zipped out three rods into the same areas where I was uh, this morning and uh, I'm not going to touch them now. I'm quite happy with them. I've put about 15 baits around each rod and uh, we are sitting back and waiting for one of these rods to rattle off. Uh, probably tomorrow, uh, just as an update, I'm going to uh, go and have a walk down to the left hand side 
Uh, there's a lot of water that you haven't seen or have not highlighted down there. It is really carpet. There's quite a few snaggy areas down there uh, to fish, and uh, it is really, really a nice area of the lake if you uh, wanted to get down there. The reason why I've picked this area is because it gives me a lot of area to attack. There's about five or six different areas just from this point that I can spread these rods out and I can fish to them areas if I need be. And uh, I can intercept fish wherever I, I, I uh, decide to cast from here. If I went in one of the other swims, you know, down here, you've only got a tunnel of water and area to fish to because obviously you know you're going to interfere with a couple of the other swims if uh, if i fish from there and uh, due to the way that the uh, the pool is then i can't get a rod down to my left hand side or down to the right due to the trees but uh, this swim commands a lot of water and that is the reason why i'm here no other reason at all and uh, that is where we are plotting up for the week unless somebody beats me to the swim in the morning or the afternoon then i'll have to uh, look at ringing the changes but at the moment it's pretty quiet and we keep topping up the swim keep topping up the the areas and uh, then fish are starting to respond um as i said it was a uh, it was just a gut instinct just to change to the white pop-ups and uh, they've got me the uh, two bites as yet. Right, I'm gonna kick back, continue to get wet, but I am absolutely loving it. See you later, bye bye. Well, proper wounder. I've just lost a fish from off the willow on the opposite bank. Uh, just took off and I was just guiding it away from this snag that's here. And uh, it was uh, trying to make it pretty quick. So I uh, give it a little bit more extra stick to try and steer it away this side. And uh, as I was pulling, I felt it, felt it, felt it. And then it just pulled away, unfortunately. Uh, put the rod back out on the spot. So we still got three rods out there at the moment I've probably got about 20 minutes left before I only need to really and get back off to the caravan But encouraging that they're out there feeding and if I can take anything away from meat, then it will be a positive So me trickling in the bait is working. They're on it and uh, I've got the tactics right So I'll catch you a little bit later if I don't pick up anything then I'll see you tomorrow morning if I can get out. If not, then I will uh, see you uh, as and when I can get down here. ta -ra. Well, good afternoon. Thursday afternoon, one o'clock, and time is definitely running out down here at Lakeside Holiday Park. As I said, I didn't fish yesterday afternoon or this morning because we had the grandchild down and we wanted to spend a bit of time with him. Uh, he's gone back this morning, bless him, so uh, I've got the afternoon spare to come down and put out a couple of rods. I'm hoping that little bit of extra time on the bank will be prosperous because I could do with another carp out of here or two. Um, so a couple of fish on the mat this afternoon would be uh, very welcome indeed for the video blog and for myself. Uh, the rods have been zipped out onto the areas where I've been... Uh, baiting up. I'll come down this morning. I wasn't going to miss the opportunity to put out a bit of bait before I uh, got down here and uh, I've put the rods out in the areas where there was yesterday uh, when I lost that fish. Was it yesterday or the day before? I'm not too sure. No it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before that uh, when I had that take and I lost it. But two fish up and uh, hopefully after, to, uh, after today will be a few more to add to the video blog. Uh, bait wise, once again, just a spread of probably about 10 baits round each rod. 
and uh, that's where they're gonna stop for the afternoon I'm gonna enjoy the Sun I've got a uh, flask full so uh, there's nothing stopping me from uh, kicking back and enjoying the sunshine and enjoying the carp fishing so I'll catch you a little bit later and uh, I'll update you if and when I uh, bag myself a fish Ta -ra. Right guys, this is Ashley the bailiff and he's come to join me for a couple of hours down here. Say hello mate. Hello, how's it going? Stuff right? in his face. I'm hoping one of us will be able to uh, pick, grab a fish out of here. If we don't, we're going to take up uh, golf. I'm not very good at that either, sir. Oh, aren't you, sir? <laughs> no, they're not mine. <laughs> right, so I'll uh, catch you a little bit later and uh, fingers crossed. Right Ashley, I'm packing up now. It's over to you. Are you gonna have one? Fingers crossed. Hey, you gonna have one? Big one. Big linear that you're after. Yeah, from off my spot. Yeah, it seems you go. We have literally day, yeah. just been watching them bosh out of the area and uh, unfortunately the rods have stayed quiet. But I think Ashley's gonna uh, put one over there. As soon as you start your engine, yeah. They're going out. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, I'm back in the morning and uh, hopefully back out after them on my last day. I'll do a couple of hours in the morning and a couple of hours on the night. But everything stops for bingo, otherwise I'm going to be in trouble if I don't. So, uh, time to wrap up. Turn up. Well, good morning. Friday morning. The rod has just rattled off. So I've just put over onto the opposite bank where I've been feeding most of the week. I got well and truly mugged off last night and uh, the fish was over me, but unfortunately nothing turned up. So I got up this morning um, thinking what I can do about it and uh, I changed to a little 10 mil pop-up and again that's what's just done the damage with that uh, just put a little bit of cord go around it as you can see and uh, all good uh, fish number three should have had a lot more to be fair but it is what it is and uh, I'm enjoying myself and that's the main thing isn't it right let's slip her back and uh, get this rod back out. Well, good morning, Friday morning, my last day down here at Lakeside, and what a morning it's been. It's been absolutely awful. Got my first rod out, 
went to cast it over to the area where I've been fishing on the weeping willow. Unfortunately, I forgot to check round the back end of the spool. Though I checked my eye rings that there was free, I didn't look behind the back end of the reel and uh, that was the first rod gone. Second rod got out, cast down to the left hand side, found my uh, line clip on the, on the uh, line, clipped it up, went to cast it over into the same area, straight through the tree on the opposite bank. Unfortunately, it must have been when I was reeling it in, don't know how I've done it, but I've unclipped it and uh, when I've put it out I've gone way too far and uh, that's my second rod gone. Third rod, I thought, you know, let's crack on and do it and um, mess it about just uh, putting the hook bait on and somehow, I don't know why, where it's gone, it must have gone into oblivion but I've dropped it, can I find it? Absolutely nowhere. I've been searching around this uh, area now for the past 10 minutes it's literally disappeared into another universe it's even even got a white bright pop-up on and i still can't believe him find it anyway nice to have that common oh. Thought I was away then. Being mugged off there. Anyway, yeah, nice to have that common. And uh, really did put uh, a little bit of a bright light on this morning. On till about 11 o'clock and... Uh, yeah. We are away. This actually feels like a better fish, guys. It's either that or it's got a snag on it. Yeah, it feels. Oh, it's got a little bit of weight behind it, this one. You know what? That ain't a bad fish at all. 
I would say around about 18, 19 pounds. Quite a bit of a uh, chunk to be fair. For a caravan park anyway that is. So, result. Let's just come out on the uh, opposite margin over there. And uh, I've just literally put it out to be fair. Just leave it on a little bit of a uh, wafter type setup with a little pink topper. So, finally, something with a bit of bigger stamp behind it on my last day on what is, or what was, a uh, pretty awful morning. But, two fish now this morning, and uh, this is what I come for. Whoops, at uh, Lakeside Holiday Park. Happy days. Let's send her on away and uh, celebrate with a nice brew. Look. Off you go. Go on. Then come up for another look. Go on. So just before I put this rod out, I just thought to show you the rig setup that I've just had that fish on. Basically, it's just a whittled down uh, maxi fish uh, wafter on the bottom with a ASM 10mm uh, pop-up, which once again has been whittled down. And that's just on a ASM PVA bag. Just uh, put the bullies in the crusher make it really really fine and uh, that's all it is same sort of setup that I was doing uh, down at Isaac Walton to be fair I've just uh, made things a little bit more smaller uh, to uh, get get the bite now there is quite a few bream in here so I would expect that you'll get picked up by bream but not this morning I haven't been picked up by a carp called a deer liner down to some Corda um, heavy metal uh, sinking hook link kicker and I've just got that on a running setup that's it, I want to get this rod out easy stuff fish number four just coming off the uh, weeping willow tree. I'd probably say it's around about 16 pounds. I'm not going to weigh it, it's probably around about 16 pounds. But uh, how about that? Single white ASM pop up. Uh, just whittled down uh, just to uh, take the roundness off. The uh, pop up, uh, no bait around it at all, and over towards the uh, weeping willow. Now, basically, it was on a single. Lovely. Right, let's set it on the way, and uh, happy days for my last day down here. Lovely. Well, the inevitable's got to happen. These rods need to be reeled in. I need to get back off to the caravan, cook a breakfast before we head down to Burnham to carry on with our family holiday. But what a nice result this morning. It did start a little bit sour, didn't it? But uh, definitely ended up with the cherry on the cake with a couple of bigger stamp of commons. Now, as I said, I'm gonna try and get back this afternoon for my last trip down here. Uh, probably got uh, from around about five till half past seven and uh, I'm gonna call it bingo bite time uh, because I usually have to reel in around about uh, half past seven just as he's starting to uh, liven up on the lake and uh, looking like he's gonna do a bite I need to uh, reel in to go and do a bit of bingo but I'm definitely going bingo in today because my luck is surely in and uh, to top 
that off my uh, trip down here or hopefully grab a bit of money off the bingo so I'll catch you a little bit later let's get these rods in Well, Friday afternoon, Caravan Carping 2 is almost over and uh, can you believe a whole week has gone already. Got a couple of rods out on some likely areas out on the uh, opposite margin. Unfortunately, couldn't get the point swim. Not too sure whether the uh, word has got out whether I've been catching a few fish out there. But it is what it is and I'm glad. That, uh, I've had most of the week to myself on Elman Swim to be honest. Um, I've dropped in the peg just down from the point swim with the anticipation of if these guys go a little bit earlier I've got this rod here all clipped up ready to go. Uh, I can put it on that willow tree where I've been having quite a few fish from. Uh, new guys have just started to turn up being a Friday obviously we've got a new router coming on there's a few guys doing the rounds of the lakes hopefully if anybody sees this video then they're gonna have a little bit of a kick start to help them uh, with their fishing down here at lakeside if it was me and I could do it right from the start again I'd definitely go with the smaller pop-ups or definitely the smaller uh, style band rigs where you can whittle everything down uh, it seems to be like the one that they want to home in on definitely a white bait on top of a um, snowman rig or a pop-up seems to have done me the business this week and uh, apart from one bite everything's come on a white pop-up um, yeah so I'm gonna just kick back this afternoon and uh, just enjoyed my last time down here um, could have had a few fish to be fair if I'd have uh, got the kick start from seeing this video and uh, knowing what to go for right from the start I think I'd have picked up them a few extra vital fish but you know I'm doing four to five hours uh, on the bank at a time so uh, the fish I've had I'm not going to complain about and you know them couple of fish this morning I really did make uh, this uh, caravan carping part two right I'll uh, log off a little bit later if anything happens or if there's anything to update uh, but for now see you later I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing at you. Laughing at me? Getting wet as anything. Getting absolutely soaked. Right, well this could be the last fish down here. And uh, I've just come down for a couple of hours once again. Put a couple of uh, rods out. And it's just rattled off with, uh, once again, the uh, little white pop-up on the Ronnie rig. <laughs> Happy days. Fish. Right, let's get it back. Right, well, unfortunately, these rods haven't gone off from uh, hitting into that fish earlier. And uh, I've got to get off and uh, get back off to the caravan. Thank you to Ashley for putting me on a few spots. Thank you very much. A couple of nice comments. Yeah, happy a couple of nice, yeah, I'm very happy. But, and also Paige for doing the uh, video work as I was uh, playing that fish. So, uh, thank you, mate. Always good to see you, mate. Yep, always good. And uh, I'll catch well, you uh, after this. As it's the last morning the down here, as I'm not fishing, I thought I'll pick the camera up and go and have a uh, last look down the lake before we uh, head off home. And uh, I am down on swim one which is uh down in this corner area uh this is a southwesterly bank however i'm told 
it's not likely to produce very much down here to be fair uh, there is a inlet I'm told down here and this area is pretty uh, silty and uh, when you put a uh, lead in here then you, you don't really get a drop because there's that much debris down here that's probably because of the, uh, the inlet and the wind that pushes down here um, we've got a swim next door which is pretty close again same type of area this is swim two um, Obviously, you've got this uh, now fishing bank on the opposite uh, side. Uh, Ashley was fishing that last night when I was uh, when I uh, when he come down. And uh, again, like everything with a now fishing bank, then fa then fish gravitate towards that area. So the closer you can get to uh, that now fishing bank, as regards to snag fishing, as regards to um, casting then you're more likely to pick up fish there are fish in here and there's fish in here in numbers but you've got to be over there at the end of the day to uh, catch them I would imagine if you come down here uh, once it's got dark once it's got uh, a little bit quiet then this marginal bank will start producing because the fish will move over once the precious drops and once the carp anglers disappear so let's continue down on this fishing bank two pigs three and four it's all exactly the same type of fishing you again uh, if you want to catch the carp out of here then you've got to uh, make sure you get close to there this is a uh, pig three Every uh, swim is uh, barked. Actually, does a great job around here. Also, got uh, the bins for dipping your nets, and also we've got the rules. Rules are uh, just common sense stuff, really. And uh, you know, every carp angler or every fisherman should uh, have the sort of stuff yeah let me go and have a little look and just show you the sort of rather than you know minimum 12 pound line micro barbed all anglers must carry suitable antiseptic to treat all fish caught at now braided lines appropriate nets strictly now fishing uh to be put now fish to be placed on the ground now rods to be left unattended you know just the uh the run of the mill stuff this is peg four. Peg five. Again. This is peg six where I was fishing last night. The area over there, probably about three four foot off the bank and uh, I had that fish from off there once again on a little white pop-up uh, there's a guy fishing so I won't bother him but uh, that's the point swim uh, that's where I've been fishing most of the week as I said I dropped in that swim because it does command a lot of water then fish do gravitate obviously towards that uh, far margin and it's like I say it's the f furthest distance on the lake not many people can cast over there and uh, you know then fish will hold up there uh, when it's busy or during the day once again more dip nets now Ashley's got a active uh, stocking program and with that this is his stock pond or pleasure lake or pleasure pond for the young anglers. You just see over there, you just uh, got the area partitioned off and he's put 80 uh, fast growing carp into here. Right, well, we're going over onto the uh, spit area. 
it just pushes it out down to the right hand side if you look over there there's a point swim and this just comes up to give you access to over onto the opposite bank now this was actually a swim that uh, when I was down here when I was a kid there was a guy fishing here fishing in the margins on the night and I come around talking to him and he lost his rod because uh, back then we didn't uh, have bait runners you had, you had back winders and he took off that quick that uh, <laughs> I was actually there took off that quick went boof, boof, off it went off the uh, off the bank stick again lovely area not so many snags out there if you were uh, if you're casting over there so it was nice and clean I've seen a lot of fish over towards that boarded area I've never fished it in the end because there was more fish showing up towards the uh, top end of that corner so I never really got to put any bait or sorry never got to put any uh, lines over towards that area but it is what it is I put a bit of bait in there trickled a bit of bait but never fished it now this swim is lovely got a lovely set of pads over there again if it was me I'd be putting one over towards the snaggy bush there one on there which is the uh, the pads and probably one down to the right hand side lovely swim this one again they're all barked so we're now troughing around in the mud this looks like a uh, boat area or used to be we used to put the boats like I say on the uh, evening I reckon this uh, this place is a marginal area and uh, then, then fish come out from the um, the opposite bank and come into the marginal area to feed you know there's a lot of match anglers come on here you know they like for putting in bait and ground bait and uh, also the, bo bo the guys with the boilies are flicking them out you know you're gonna uh, get you're gonna get some spill with that uh, this swim lovely uh, new swim snaggy areas out of the far bank we've also got one down to the right hand side I wouldn't get too close to that tree however because um, because what's shown on the outside or the top of the water I can guarantee underneath it's going to be even worse now according to Ashley this area of the lake really doesn't produce too much you know they've had 35 years of people fishing off that point swim over onto the opposite banks over there then fishing out very very well that uh, there is bait around there and that's where they're going to feed if they're going to feed but you know he's had fish from down here but he says he did get a he had a baiting campaign down here and he didn't produce too much carp well yeah it's been absolutely lovely uh, spending the week down here the grounds are absolutely pristine and uh, it's really enjoyable it's quiet and uh, if you want to come and have a holiday then uh, with a splash of fishing uh, this is as good as the rest I would say the uh, fishing isn't as easy as uh, Haven but as I've shown you the rewards are here uh, so don't come down thinking you're going to smash the place because uh, it's not going to happen and uh, you've got to put in your efforts to get your rewards out of here and as I said because of that uh, bank being an our fish bank and fish will get right underneath them snags become a little bit more harder to catch and you've got to put your work in to get them out right this is the uh, the last swim nice little stalking swim this is to be fair I would imagine it looks really really carpy this one I would imagine just flicking a bit of bait down there uh, getting something going because obviously being the last swim on the uh, on the lake 
the furthest distance to walk then I would imagine uh, it doesn't get fish very often so if you can get a baiting campaign just down there then I have no doubt it will produce so that's the walkabout to the lake really hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed my holiday and fishing uh, thank you once again to Ashley who uh, has come down a couple of nights we've had a good chat about the lake and uh, it's with this information that I can pass on to you uh, what you need to uh, do to catch these fish out of here um, so yeah fantastic week and uh, thank you to uh, my lovely Sarah for putting up with me and uh, she really does have to put up with a lot to be honest with you because I'm always thinking about fishing and uh, I do drive her absolutely crazy so that's the end of Caravan Carping part two and uh, I will catch you a little bit later I'm going to be heading off home shortly bowling for carp I've got another uh, very couple of interesting videos coming up uh, that, that I have no doubt that you will enjoy and uh, again don't forget to subscribe in the bottom if you like these type of videos so Bish, bash, bosh, keep it tosh, wet nets, tight lines. See you on my next video. Ta -ra.